Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand JavaScript array methods. In the previous video tutorials, we understood push method, pop method, unshift method, shift method, splice method and slice method. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss concat method and join method. So let's get started. We already know what is an array. Array is a collection of data elements or data values. What is an array guys? Array is a collection of elements or values. Arrays are created to store multiple values in a single variable. Normally a variable holds a single value guys. If you want to store multiple values, list of values in a single variable, then you create a variable of type array. We already know how to create a variable of type array using literal notation. What we do? We write var keyword, then we write the array name equal to. In between pair of square brackets, we write comma separated list of values, then semicolon. For example, I am saying here var stood names. Stood names is the array name equal to. In between pair of square brackets, I have written list of students names and then semicolon. Let's create this array. I minimize the Word document. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code written. Title is set to default page. Here inside the body section, I have written script tag. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to default page. Title is set to default page. Here inside the script tag, I say var std names is equal to in between pair of square brackets in double quotations. I say Ram comma in double quotations Ravi comma in double quotations. I say Raju comma in double quotations. I say Raghu comma in double quotations, I say Gopal. I also told you what happens when this code is executed. What happens when this code is executed guys? We know that computer checks how many elements are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. It goes to memory. It creates one memory block. Computer creates one memory block containing five memory locations. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. To this entire memory block, it gives the name std names. Std names is the array name. Inside these memory locations, it puts values Ram, Ravi, Raju, Raghu and Gopal. And we also know that arrays follow zero based indexing. First element in the array is going to have the index zero. Next element is going to have index one. Next element is going to have index two. Next element is going to have index 3. Next element is going to have index 4. So that's what happens inside the memory guys. That's what happens inside the memory when this statement is executed. Now we know how to create an array and we also know what happens inside the memory when this statement is executed. Let's understand how to display the array. To display the array, you just need to write the array name guys. I go here, I'm going to say document dot write in brackets I say std names when we write the array name it returns all the elements in the array I say here Ram Ravi Raju Raghu and Gopal if I save this and go to browser and refresh you see Ram Ravi Raju Raghu Gopal are displayed so if you just write the array name it returns all the elements in the array guys now we understood how to display the array let's understand how to display length of the array length of the array indicates total elements at present available in the array if i write the array name dot length it returns total elements available at present in that given array guys i go here i am going to copy this code and paste down here i use the br tag i am adding one line break i copy this code paste down I say stood names dot length definitely you see five displayed guys file save 
go to browser and refresh you see five displayed now we know how to create an array how to display the array how to display length of the array let's understand array methods first we understand concat method concat method returns a new array it returns a new array by concatenating or appending given elements to the elements of the given array what concat method does it returns one new array guys by concatenating given elements by concatenating given elements to the elements of the given array the syntax of the concat method is when you call the concat method you pass here list of arguments here args indicates elements to be concatenated or appended guys for example if i say stud names dot concat ramesh comma suresh what it does as i told it is going to return a new array okay containing the elements of the given array stud names ram ravi raju raghu gopal and elements to be concatenated so ramesh and suresh are elements to be concatenated ramesh and suresh also added guys let's see that i go here i am going to add one more line break i copy this code and paste down if i say stud names dot concat in brackets in double quotations i say ramesh comma in double quotations i say suresh now what concat method does it is going to return a new array containing the elements of the given array stud names has ram ravi raju raghu gopal so they are they will be available in that new array as well as the elements that we want to concat ramesh and suresh so ramesh suresh will be part of the new array if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that it has written a new array containing the elements of the given array and the elements to be concatenated guys i hope you guys have clearly understood note concat method can be used to combine two arrays concat method can be used to combine two arrays now what i do i am going to comment this code okay let me take it back so that you can see everything on the same line and i comment this code also instead of putting here ramesh and suresh like separately what i do i create one array i say here var new studs new studs is equal to in between pair of square brackets i am going to put ramesh and suresh now we know what happens when this code is executed already right what computer does it goes to memory it creates a block containing two memory locations what computer does it goes to memory it creates a memory block containing two memory locations to that array it gives the name new studs and inside the memory location it puts here ramesh and here it puts suresh and this memory location is going to have the index 0 this memory location is going to have the index 1 so that's what happens when this line of code is executed now what i do i am going to copy this code and paste down here what i do i pass this array guys i just pass the array name copy that and paste here now what happens of course the concat method is going to return a new array containing the elements of the given array that is stud names ram ravi raju raghu gopal as well as the elements to be added now we want to add the array itself ramesh and suresh so it is going to add ramesh and suresh if i say file save go to browser and refresh you get the same output see ram ravi raju raghu gopal ramesh and suresh so you can pass list of values or you can put those values inside an array and just pass that array guys so concat method is used to concatenate two arrays that's what i wanted to say here concat method can be used to combine two arrays and remember concat method does not affect the original arrays it does not affect the original array that that means i am going to copy this code and paste down let me remove this line break i add one more line break here so if you display stud names it will be same as it is ram ravi raju raghu gopal if i save this come here and refresh you are seeing the same array there is no change in the original array if you copy this code and paste down and if you display the new studs new studs definitely you will see here ramesh comma suresh displayed that's that's the original array file save go to browser and refresh 
see Ramesh Suresh are displayed. So original arrays are not affected. Okay, I'm going to copy this code and paste on. So now we understood what is the work of concat method. Let's understand the join method. Join method returns a new array by joining list of elements with a given delimiter guys. What join method does? It returns a new array by joining list of elements with the given separator. The syntax is very simple. We call the join method while calling the join method. We pass the delimiter or the separator, which indicates the separator to be used while joining guys. For example, if I say stood names dot join in double quotation, I'm putting here hyphen. So it returns a new array. Okay. Which is going to be the same stood names only, but instead of having comma, you will be having the delimiter hyphen guys. So let's see that I'm going to copy this code and paste down. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see it is displaying Ram, Ravi, Raju, Raghu, Gopal, but the delimiter used here is the comma, right? You don't want comma. Maybe you want hyphen. So what you can do, you can simply copy this code and paste down, call the join function and pass the delimiter what you want. I want hyphen. So instead of having comma, now you see dash or hyphen guys. Understanding the delimiter used is hyphen. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see Ram hyphen, Ravi hyphen, Raju hyphen, Raju, Raghu hyphen, Gopal is displayed. Or if I copy this code and paste down, maybe I can use forward slash. So now we see here forward slash used as the separator. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, and remember join method does not affect the original array. It does not affect the original array. That means if you display the stood names, you will see the same output Ram, Ravi, Raju, Raghu, Gopal file, save, go to browser and refresh. See understanding. So that is how concat method and join method work. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. Try the code yourself. Experiment guys. If you try experiment, you get more knowledge, you understand more clearly. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.